Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another chill chats. Today's going to be very different. Um, I've actually been wanting to do this video for a long time and that's kind of why it's closer to my last chill chats than I would have wanted it to be. I don't want to do these every other video, but I also don't want to do them like twice a year, you know. Today I'm going to be reading my Haiti journal. I haven't read this since I wrote it on my trip and lately I've just been like trying to think back to what I did do. I can only think of a few things that I did. Today I'm going to be talking about my Haiti experience. I'll read my journaling. I might cut out some parts if it like says like location wise or like too personal or something like that. I don't know what's in here. It's been almost two years and I've really been wanting to do it. I know I kind of sound like a man but I'm sick. I'm really excited. I just want to open it. It was seven days. Here's day one, Saturday, November 19th, 2016. Haiti, day one. We left yesterday for Miami. We got to the airport around 9 and they wouldn't give us our carry-on. We had to wear the same green shirt Friday to sleep and Saturday. When we started flying over to Haiti, it was gorgeous. It was so cool seeing everything from the top view. You just saw these 10 things. They were the roofs of the houses. We haven't went past much to see a lot of the houses up close, but on the bus to the guest house, we saw a lot. I wish I could have videoed it all, but it's considered disrespectful. It's a beautiful place. When we settled in, we went to a crutch. It was so cool and all the little boys were so cute. Some of them speak some English. The area was so small and fun. When you first walk down the steps, they all run up to you hang on to you and yell blanc. I loved it. I loved playing with the little kids even though half the time I didn't know what they were saying. That was definitely the best part of the day. The dinner was actually very good. They had mac and cheese which was like peas and spices. It was really good. I loved the rice and beans and I don't even like rice. Of course the bread was great. The whole day was a great experience. The Haiti airport was a little overwhelming. Now I'm in bed ready to try and sleep without Lammy which worked last night. Tomorrow we go to church which we won't be able to understand anything. I'm so excited and nervous for this week and I hope I'm open-minded and it is an unselfish life-changing experience. Written by Allie on the first day of Haiti. I know I said sleeping without Lammy, but Lammy is like a stuffed animal that I have. No, I'm not like two, but I can sleep without Lammy. We like flew into Miami the night before and then like spent the night at the airport hotel and we like literally could see our bags in the back. We brought carry-ons. You're supposed to like bring all your personal stuff and carry-ons just just in case it doesn't get to Haiti and you lose your stuff. They didn't have enough room on the plane. They just put it under the plane, but they wouldn't give it to us. So we were sitting there for like two hours in the Miami airport. We had most of our toiletries. They were supposed to be like easily accessible. I had mine in my backpack, luckily. But I remember having, I wore like these knockoff Toms from Five Below. Those were the ones that I wore like around the guest house. I wore my little teeny no-show socks and I remember hanging them on the vent trying them out. I remember the first time that I walked down the steps to go to the crutch. The crutch is just like, it has like a playground and stuff like that. I was kind of overwhelming. And it was only boys too. Like it was all little boys and they like ran. It was like blunk, blunk, blunk. And then they like literally like all jumped on you. It was so fun. The girls were always like upstairs in the rooms. I didn't really meet the girls until the second to last day. Sunday, November 20th, 2016. Today's actually the next day because I went to sleep last night. Yesterday we went to church. It was interesting because you couldn't understand understand what they were saying at all. They said it was the shortest church service, but I still thought it was long, just because I couldn't understand them. The first hour was announcements, and the last 30 minutes was a sermon. I'm gonna interrupt. They, like, did all announcements because they obviously didn't have, like, bulletins and stuff to pass out, so they would have to say the announcements, and they would finish, and since we didn't know Creole, the pastor was like, yeah, okay, that's the announcements, and we were like, what? We thought that we were listening to the sermon. <laughs> I think we sang before announcements. I don't know. We had to eat lunch on the bus. It wasn't as horrible as I thought. The bus was just like a super rocky roller coaster. We went to a shopping place and it wasn't as bad as I thought. They just really want you to buy stuff. I'm already in love with the kids at the crutch. They are so cute and sweet. I already know I'm in love with Haiti and will want to come back. That's sad because I didn't ever go back. Literally before you go to Haiti, like all the people who've already been to Haiti tell you the worst. The bus was like super bumpy. The roads were like not paved obviously and they were super tiny so there would be people coming this way and like yeah it was bad there was this one spot we would turn around a corner and the bus had to get so close because the road was so tiny to the stone wall there's a piece of barbed wire that would like scrape the edge of the bus and it would like come 
through the window and be and you would just know every time you had to like get out of the way or your eye would be poked out. I don't remember what happened. I think it was like something like really stressful happened after church. Every morning we got up and made our sandwiches and put them in a bag and our name on it and stuff. Like peanut butter and jelly every day. Monday, November 21st. Today was the first work day. We went to the school slash church and scraped, sandpapered, and painted walls, the outside and classrooms. It really hurt my arms because it was a lot of work and I don't do anything with my arms. There was this creepy guy, I'm not gonna say her name, that held B's hand and kept walking into the room with me. I don't remember that. I would always make sure I brought two guys with me so I wouldn't be kidnapped. I hit my head on the lock thing on the gate two times. The kid kept helping us sand the walls. One boy kept trying to kiss me and caught me out of nowhere and kissed me right next to my lips. I actually thought it was a girl because he had a pink Christmas hat. Luckily, Blank kept telling him to calm down and he never tried to kiss me again. I was like sanding the walls. Literally he came up and was like he just kept coming up to me and I was like, oh my goodness, like I couldn't do my work because like I had to stand up to where like he couldn't reach me. Whenever he was with me, I was like this and like I was actually covering my mouth like kind of like so he wouldn't kiss me and kind of like sanding the wall like so that sand, you were like breathing in it. He started doing this and he was like, I just remember that. Our translator slash security left for college so we couldn't contact the pastor. So this is later because like, you can tell like my handwriting's changed. I was about to stop writing but then the boys came and got us and showed us a huge spider. They put it in one of the other person's bags because he really hates spiders. He didn't even look at it and he just crumpled the bag, killed the spider. That was last minute fun thing. Today was great. I love Haiti already. Everyone is saying how they want American food. Go back to America but I'm eating better here than I do at home. I don't even want to leave. I love Haiti. Tomorrow we are going to build the house. It is apparently downhill. Yeah, it is. There wasn't really anything to expand on that, I don't think. Tuesday of November 22nd. I remember this day like it was yesterday. Today we worked at the house. We carried about 200 cinder blocks down the hill and half a pile of sand. We worked from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. We walked back to the church because the bus didn't come back. But right before lunch, I fell down the steep part of the hill and scraped my knee. I tried my hardest not to cry, but I still did. It hurts super bad. My knee was all taped up. My arms are all scraped up from the cinder box. Worship was super fun tonight. We laughed a lot. Our translator was like, I'm lazy sometimes too. And that was super hard work to us. Whenever we first started, we weren't going very fast. And he was like, yeah, I'm lazy sometimes too. But then we were all like, this is hard. My eye was hurting with my contact in. Then I took it out and it hurt 10 times worse. I used like seven different eye drops. Hopefully it's not swollen shut tomorrow. My eye and knee hurt super bad right now, but I'm in love with Haiti. It was like this super steep hill and then the bottom was like that and it was like all like loose dirt. Then I slipped and like my feet came under me so my knees like scraped on the ground. Everyone like came and picked me up and brought me over. I was more scared of like my leg falling off. They like cleaned it all out and did all that stuff. Wednesday, November 23rd. Today we did immersion. It was pretty interesting. We got a very sweet lady. Our translator wasn't very good or clear at English. He was nice though. It was weird because I thought the lady would wash the clothes dishes with us, but the translator did. He wasn't a very good translator. I think it was his first time translating. We would ask him questions to like ask her because obviously we don't know Korean. We'd be like, ask her blah blah blah. He'd like think of it and be like, Oh, I don't think she has any kids. I was just like, ask her the questions and then she can tell. She started washing clothes finally, but like he was washing them mostly. They take the clothes and like, they take it like this and then they have this like big huge ball of soap that they put in like the middle of the bowl. It's really cool, but like their hands are like super tough. She kept saying like soft, soft. My cuticles like started to open and like bleed. So she was like, no, no, don't do anymore. It's very hard to make the noise. She was like, this is when you're doing it right is whenever you're making the noise. And it's like, chuk, 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 chuk. We came back earlier, so I got to go to the crutch. My buddy's sponsors came to hang out with him. It was cool to see him getting to eat real good food. Today was a great day in Haiti. November 24th. We did prayer walk today. I was hoping we would get a new, better translator, but we got the same one. He was definitely better today. We prayed over about six to eight people. I only prayed twice. It was a lot of walking. I was at the crutch for like two hours. I just love these kids and don't want to leave them. We had Thanksgiving dinner with a lot of people. 
It was really good. There were no plates left and just a little cheesecake left. Miss Blank took the platter and we split it. Thanksgiving, we like actually had American food. Friday, November 25th. I'm so sad today was the last day. We went shopping today. We also went to a museum and a zoo. We were like the main attraction though because they were all staring and taking pictures. I got some cute metal pieces and bracelets and postcards. I saw a man sleeping on a motorcycle. How it was comfortable, I don't know. I really don't want to leave. When I was saying bye to all the kids, I was holding it together until I got to Emmanuel. I almost started crying, but I didn't until I got to our room. He probably won't come back here next year and go to a different place. The pastor, he like told us, he was like, I just need to tell you we've been coming here for this long. They don't need any more help. I was like, of course I would come like the last year that we come to the spot. It was really sad. The guy was literally like laid out on his motorcycle. The handlebars were a pillow. We went to the zoo and uh, there was apparently like a field trip from school. Literally all the people had their phones out taking pictures of us. <laughs> Not the animals. And that's it. It was a lot of churches together. It wasn't like one church. Some of the people that I went with who live in like a different state, two of the people posted that they were going and I was just like, I want to be there. This is my little thing about mission trips. You don't have to go out of the state. You don't have to go out of the country. You can stay in your own city to go on a mission trip. You can do missions where you live. Like we need it where we live because if we're just going out of the country we're just going out of state who's going to minister to the people in your state i really want to do more missions like where i live when i went to a camp we went to this park we just went and prayed with all these people and i would have never thought that people would be open you don't have to go build a house you don't have to like just go and like love on people it's just like the best most eye-opening experience i was not ready to go home it was just such a refreshing experience you just see how happy they are like with nothing most of the houses were literally like one room like smaller than this room those dirt floors cinder block houses and then like a tin roof we were watching living on one dollar it's on netflix it's in guatemala that's exactly like what we saw i definitely recommend you watch that because some people are really naive and like don't realize how good we do have it yes people like say it constantly like you're blessed you're lucky we are we are so blessed i definitely recommend you do that go out of your comfort zone i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you like any of my other videos then please subscribe down below please leave any videos you want me to do thank you so much for watching bye